So just another talking video. Um, sorry, it rained all day today. I can't get out and do hiking. That's my passion. And then uh, I'll be out tomorrow. You know, if you watch my previous video, my wife, uh, she set the uh, power washer on fire. I don't know how. And uh, I'm going to take it over to Best Buy and get it recycled properly. Um, I don't know if you follow along, but we have an authoritarian... Um, uh, takeover of the U.S. taking place. Uh, you know, it turns out General Milley, I don't want to call him that, let's call him that idiot Milley, because I always, I thought he was an idiot before, I did not know he was a traitor. Um, so you got to follow the news. I mean, he was warning the, or telling the Chinese uh, back in October that uh, no way we were going to attack them in any way, shape, or fashion, uh, even if Trump ordered it. Um, and you might say, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. No, that's not a good thing. That means your military is circumventing the constitutional process for your government. That's where Mike Pence comes in. Mike Pence could, could have pulled, if Trump wanted to push the nuclear button or do anything crazy, uh, you can always uh, constitutionally invoke the 25th Amendment and have him removed. You know, there's no reason that you, uh, and the generals, they can always, uh, you know, in the military, you can always disobey orders if you think it's an unlawful order. So there's checks and balances there. There's no way a military uh, officer, if you can call him that, traitor, a military traitor uh, can circumvent the U.S. Constitution. You guys are, the Democrats are for this stuff. I don't get it, man. Your, your free speech is being taken away. They're trying to take away your Second Amendment. They're trying to bypass the Constitution. And now you have a, a traitor. Uh, and of course, I, I include Blinky, yeah, the State Department, in, in this regard. You have an authoritarian government taking over. Uh, you got vaccine uh, mandates. And, you, and the left's all for it. Democrats are all for it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But um, let's just talk about something fun. So get off of that topic. Uh, you know, one of the things uh, that I have uh, for the trip coming up, by the way, I got a, another box of supplies today. Um, uh, you know, if you're going to camp in the National Forest like I'm going to be doing just to save money because I don't want to pay $150 for a hotel room that might have COVID floating around. And, you know, I'm not too concerned about that because I've already had the disease. But uh but anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you the, the steps that I take. Uh, so today I got in some um, Lamotrin cream. Uh, it's antifungal cream. Um, because a lot of times when you're up in the um, camping like that, you know, things are damp and wet. Uh, hell, the last tr time I tried to do this to get to Virginia, I, it rained on me <laughs> for, for six straight days or seven or whatever it was. And I finally just decided, I said, you know what? I've had enough of this. And I just, I hopped in the car and I just, I said, I don't care if I, if I pass out at the wheel, I'm going to get to Virginia and, and stay in a house where I don't have to just be out here and be wet all the time. But uh, you see, you, you want to take care of your feet. You're going to have foot powder along. You're going to have um, Lotrimin cream. Um, this is kind of my first aid kit. You know, I got some anti-diuretal in here, some some uh, new skin, um, uh, foot powder, uh, baby well, baby powder with aloe. Okay, now I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't have the toxic uh, talcum stuff in it. But you know, sometimes when you're out uh, in the extremities, there, you know, woo, um, you need that baby powder just to load it on uh, because otherwise, you're going to be itching your buns off. Literally, um, of course, some, some lip balm and uh, you know whatnot. I mean, so you know you just kind of load up on on stuff, um, and you're thinking, uh, Kirk, what's a, It's just a trip to Virginia. What what the hell are you worried about, man? I'm telling you, it, it, every dog on day, there's something huge that comes out. I mean, who knew that the Joint Chiefs of Staff were traitors to the country of the United States? I mean, think of the bombshell that we just keep hitting on every day. I mean, who would have thought we'd leave 50, I think it's 58 billion now. I thought it was 53 in the previous video. $58 billion of military equipment for the Taliban. Who, th who thought we would start funding the Taliban? It looks like we're going to start sending them billions of dollars to fund their government. They're over there chopping heads off. We got Americans hostages behind enemy lines, and the Democrats are all for this stuff. Oh, man, I'm telling you, I, I just... I just I just don't believe it. So, so what am I going to encounter? I mean, am I going to see military on the streets as I'm driving to Virginia? I don't know. 
I'm going to be prepared for it, man. If, if, if the, the hammer comes, by the way, the Federal Reserve is doing some really uh, hideous stuff. You know, they, they had to post by law a lot of information about what's going on with the money supply and what's, uh, what's taking place and how much they're printing and everything. And, and if you haven't been following it, and I know a lot of you just work a job and don't want to eat, you know, even hear about this stuff, and that's fine. I, I can understand that. But, I mean, you're going to have to start taking notice. Because now they're, they're booting all of the, the documentation off their website. They're canceling it all. You can't even go up and get information about what's going on. Because, you know, I think, I think the whole shit storm is going to just come crashing down, and they know it. And they don't want you to know what's going on. So they're, they're taking all the documents down off of their uh, web servers, and you can't even find it. They don't want the American people to know. Just saying. So, so you might think I'm, I'm, I'm a little crazy. Uh, trying to prepare so that I can go up into the forest uh, on my way or on my way back from Virginia and, uh, and hole up for a while if I need to and try to take back roads just to get back here to Florida, a free state, by the way. I don't think Florida is going to go crazy, and I think Texas is going to remain free. Um, are we coming to civil war? I don't know. I don't know. It sure does look like it. You got the authoritarians in New York. You got the authoritarian. And by the way, you, a lot of people think that Newsom's going to lose that recall. You know how much money the Democrats pumped into that? What was it, like 70 or 80 million? I mean, where does the money come from? It's called printing on the press at the Federal Reserve. They pumped like 80 million. Larry Elder, the poor black man that they've called the, the black face of white supremacy. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. But the Democrats are all for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the leftists, you know, he's the black face of white supremacy. <laughs> I, you know, I got to laugh because it's just so absurd. It's just unbelievable. Now we're calling a black man a white supremacist. But anyway, so um, getting back to the trip, um, I, you know, that's, that's what I was trying to explain is, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to come down in the next couple of months. It just it just looks like the whole system, the whole authoritarian, I mean, it's all going to, the globalists are making their move, yeah, from what I can tell. Um, you know, Biden's just a puppet in there, and uh, um, looks, and they've made their move in Australia. They, 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 they've wiped that out. In Canada, they've made their move there, you know. Um, so, you know, is, is the Western world going to take back individual freedom? I don't know, man. I don't know where all this is going, and that's what I'm telling you. I want to be as prepared as I can, you know. So, yeah, let's get back to it. Uh, so just, just a real brief uh, thing, you know, I, I could go through all the gear. I'm not going to go through it all. I mean, of course, I'm going to have plenty of food along with me where I can, I can survive about a month or two up in the forest. Uh, you know, I got the Toyota Prius Prime. We've done videos on that. I'm getting 100. Well, on the highway, I'll only get about 75 miles to the gallon. Uh, plus, it's got that battery that I can recharge. Uh, you know, like I see people all the time over here at Publix. they got an outdoor outlet. And uh, they're charging, <laughs> they're charging their phones on that outdoor outlet, and uh, the employees, you know, they're just employees. They they haven't said anything to them, uh, but I was thinking, you know, on the trip. I mean, when you're a vagabond or you're homeless, which is basically what I'll be, you know, these are options that you need to think about. You know, you're not going to enjoy the comfort of your home. Um, and uh, you know, I still got a couple things left. I'm working on. Oh, by the way, this is uh, this is another one. Um, you know, I bought the GoPro because it went on sale for three fifty. I didn't want to spend the money on it. I, you know, but uh, trying to step up the game here on the videos just a little bit. Um, it didn't come with the sand disc, so I don't know what the internal. I, I, you know, I'm still learning about it. Okay, um, but it didn't come with the, a, a sand disc to store your videos on. Uh, who knew? I mean, I bought it at Best Buy. I might have gotten a better deal at Amazon, but I like buying locally uh, so that if I do run into some problems, I can just take it back to the store. You know, shipping stuff back to Amazon, it's, um, well, it's kind of dangerous. I've had stuff get lost in the mail or, uh, um, you know, or, or they, they want to just give me credit at Amazon and then I got to spend money at Amazon. to. So, you know, I, I, I prefer to buy it you know, locally if I can. And that's what I did. But I mean, Best Buy didn't even put a, and they didn't tell me, you know, you would think, well, the salesmen, there are idiots. So <laughs> Let's just, you know, you got the lowest paid people uh, working in these stores and, you know, but I, you know, they could have told me I don't have the memory to store videos on. So then I had to go out and spend another 80 damn dollars. Now you can get the 256 uh, SanDisk. Um, 
but you know, I, I figured, uh, well, that, and that was like 48 or 50 bucks for the 256. And then if you double that to the 512, this is, this is something you want to do with all computer equipment. Uh, you know, even, even a backup hard drive, you know, you can buy the one terabyte, let's just say, for example, as a backup device for a computer for, let's say, 50 bucks, or you can get the five terabyte for 100. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Do you want to spend 50, then 50, then 50, then 50, then 50? Or do you want to just, you know, get the cat daddy and just go with that? You know, if, 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 if you, you got to crunch the numbers, I mean, you know, you don't know. Sometimes when you jump up, like when if I jumped up above 512 uh, gigabytes, uh, man, it's hard to believe 512 gigabytes on a little card about that big. Man, technology is just leaving us all behind. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to let you know that, uh, and of course, I don't have any accessories. I, you know, I, what I guess I'm going to do is just carry the GoPro around on the tripod that I use with the phone, and that's what I'm using to make this video because I'm still learning about the GoPro. But anyway, these are, these are Band-Aids I just wanted to show you. You want to get the Blister Buster Band-Aids. They're a lot better. They're good uh, for when you go swimming. So like, you know, here, here's another thing. You know, when you're out on a trip like mine and you're filthy, Okay, if I'm staying at the National Forest Campground, like I did, uh, I think it was called Kobe, there at, uh, in the Smoky Mountains, there was no shower. So where are you going to get clean? Just go down into the stream with the bathing suit on, you know, unless you want to flash everybody. And, uh, and you know, get in the water. Just you know, And you don't have to take soap. You really just need to rinse the sweat off, you know, and, and get your hair wet, maybe, you know. And if you want to take a little soap in there, you're not going to poison the stream with it, you know. Don't don't get crazy, you know, and dump a whole bottle of shampoo in the river or something, you know. But uh, you want these, see, that's what I'm saying with these blister buster video, these band-aids. So let's say I do get blisters on my feet or, uh, or, or I cut myself or I do something, uh, you know, and you got to cover up. These will be good you know, for me to bathe in that stream. Um, another thing uh, that I, I, I think I mentioned it in previous videos, if you want to shower and you get a nice storm, you know, step outside the tent, take your clothes off, especially if it's at night. Nobody's going to be looking at you on a campsite if you're in a national forest campground. Uh, hopefully, I mean, unless you, you know, in a state forest campground where the campsites are side by side, but even then most people are asleep at night and get you a shower in the rain, you know. So, uh, you know, you don't have to stay where the showers. There's always natural ways to, to get these things done. So anyway, I guess that's it for this video. Got a little long-winded. Uh, um, oh, by the way, this, this is another thing you're going to want. Uh, I don't know if they still sell them anymore, but I bought a bunch of these bags, okay, because um, they're light. And when you're backpacking or even just, you know, going camping and stuff, they're great for keeping stuff organized in, right? And, uh, uh, you know, much better than, than like having a, a plastic kit or, uh, or something that weighs a lot, uh, you know, and everybody wants to go out and buy those, those you know, those ready-made first aid kits. You know, I think you're better off just making your own, man. You know, figure out what, what, are, what, are, what are the things that concern you? Do you need Pepto-Bismol? Do you need anti-diuretal? Um, you know, or, or, because I'm challenged in that way because of the cancer, you know, I'm... I'm, I'm you know, you've heard me talk about, I always look to where, <laughs> where are the bathrooms, where are the bathrooms. So, you know, I mean, but, uh, you know, these, these are things, uh, but, but I don't want, I got to live my life, man. You know, I'm not going to stay, you know, cooped up. And hey, that's another thing. And this will be, uh, we'll finish up this video right here. Um, because, you know, and, 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 I, and I praise my mother quite a bit. Uh, um, if, you, if you really want to, you know, be prepped. Um, for what's coming, because I think we're, we're all going to be in a world of hurt here soon, uh, whether it's an authoritarian government or uh, just a Great Depression and the financial system is going to collapse. You know my theory. I think the stock market's going to collapse. I think the real estate uh, is going to collapse. I mean, the whole damn house of cards is uh, going to come crashing down here at some point, and I don't know when. Uh, I just want to be prepared for it. But, you know, take a big trip. Plan on going, you know, I, I would have said Canada. I used to love going to Canada, but that's a communist state now, so you don't want to go there. And looks like we're going to, we may get there. I mean, we've got a trader in, in traders in the White House. So, um, you know, but on a big trip, I mean, you got to basically take your house with you, man. You got to have everything. And, uh, and yeah, can you, can you, keep going to the store over and over again and going, oh man, I forgot the foot powder. Oh man, I forgot the Lamotrin. No, man. If you're off grid, if you're way up in the national forest somewhere, what are you going to do? Hop in the car and drive an hour and a half to get to a store? And then the store may not have what you're looking for? 
No, you got to get all this stuff done ahead of time, man. That's it. So let's do the mantra. Freedom! Oh, freedom! Peace.